This case is uh, about skin pores and skin scars treatment. Uh, she is 37 years old and her skin is quite thick and a little greasy. Uh, that's why she has uh, uh, lots of skin pores in enlargement. And I can see some uh, atrophic scars or ice peak scars on her cheeks. So uh, using Zuveluk, uh, I will inject uh, Zuveluk on her full face, uh, especially on her cheeks and on her glabella area uh, to improve her skin quality, including skin pores and scars. So usually um, this central part of the face, uh, patients usually feel the most, uh, uh, feel most uh, pain compared to other areas. So usually I start from the less painful area, which is this lateral side. And vibrator is quite helpful because it's a quite painful procedure. I diluted 4 ml of uh, nomoceline into one bottle, one vial of Chivaluk. And among 4 ml, uh, I am using only 2 ml. And I mixed 1.5 ml of HA, non-crossing HA, and 0.5 of light, uh, 2% lidocaine. I will start on her temple area. She has few uh, depressed scar. When injecting uh, on the scar, I'm using 30 gauge needle with 4 mm length, and I'm approaching um, about 10 degree, less than 10 degrees from uh, from the skin surface, and I insert full needle and I lift my needle to check the skin color. The skin color is, uh, becomes a little whitish. This is a good um, layer, bright layer. I inject very slowly without moving my needle. Maybe 0 0.02. And if there is um, too obvious lump, uh, that means your needle is uh, located a little too superficial. So I recommend to inject a little more deeper. Two to three points per uh, small scar, including uh, the edges and uh, normal tissue and after injection you should press scar to um, make flat the flatten the, the lump and small pores you don't need to target each each pore just inject multiple points with uh, less than one centimeter distance. You should see a minor bleeding like this. That means uh, you are injecting in the right layer. So usually, uh, I care about uh, skin scars and after finishing injection of uh, scar injection, then I move to uh, skin pores. And it's better to um, inject segmental injection. That means I inject temple area, and then uh, I move to 
cheek area. I prefer to inject separately. So on her cheek, there's a few scars. Injection, scar injection is a little bit different from pores injection. Pores injection is usually a general injection, overall injection, but uh, scar injection should be very focalized, very focal and localized. Inject very small amounts. If you want, you can inject two to three points. Here, there is a, a quite a large scar which is depressed. For example, this kind of scar we usually call a box scar. First, uh, I insert my needle to 1 to 2 mm apart from the scar and then your needle needle tip will be targeted in the middle of the scar and lift up to check the depth and just injection very slowly and you should see the depressed scar is filling with the Juvelux solution And if it, it doesn't work, uh, then approach from the other direction. Same, with same method. Then you can uh, inject more efficiently uh, without uh, injecting into other area can focus more on the center of the scar and then you will see a little elevated uh, compared to before injection and there's some other scar this part is more painful because it's a uh, central area of the face The injection depths should be uh, different, should differ from the skin thickness. For example, periorbital area, you should inject more superficially. And the cheek area, you can inject a little uh, de uh, deeper, to, uh, deeper air, uh, layer. Okay, I think I finished injecting uh, into her skin scars, and then uh, I move to I move on to pore injection. Each point you should inject very small amount. It's better to inject more points than injecting uh, a bit large amount per point. So um, even injection and small amount per point is the key uh, of injection technique. I injected 0.8 ml. I usually inject um, 4 to 5 ml per session. Then uh, finally I'm using half vial or a little more than half vial uh, of Zivaluk for one session but it depends on the scar's size and uh, the, 3D, uh, the, the uh, area of air area to be treated. This procedure is quite painful, so I recommend to put numbing cream before injection for more than a half hour 
and sometimes patient should take a painkiller before injection. It depends on uh, patient's sensitiveness to the pain. Okay, after injecting, uh, after you finish injecting uh, one side, I would recommend to check if there is any um, two obvious lumps and check the skin evenness. Right, I, I injected uh, about 1.5 ml and after finishing this uh, whole right side cheek area uh, then you should touch using your fingers if you feel uh, too obvious too prominent lumps then uh, gently massage or uh, compress the lumps area to make a more even skin surface if you should uh, make more massage, then I would recommend to make uh, put some ointment, and you can uh, massage more effectively and check the lumps, lump size and evenness. Small lumps usually degrade or disappear um, in a few days but uh, two large lumps uh, usually persist for uh, a few weeks so it's better to massage before finishing the, the treatment also uh, after injection uh, needle RF is a quite good combination device then um, you can not only increase the effect but also uh, avoid the long-lasting lumps I usually combine with needle RF injection first and RF later okay this is very good these lumps usually disappear in um, one or two days, sometimes three, three days, but not more than one week. Uh, Glabella uh, is the, the connecting part from the mid face and upper face. Usually the skin uh, of the glabella is quite thick and there are, uh, it's, pr it's prone to um, having a lot of skin pores so this part you should be very careful uh, of course you should inject um, into deep dermis but uh, if you go deeper than deep dermis uh, you may inject into the vessels so uh, keeping into the right depth is more important compared to other area so Always check the depths by elevating, lifting up the needle. If you see any color, uh, if you don't see any color change, then uh, your needle may lo be located into too deep area. So you should see the whitish color change of the skin when lifting up the needle. And inject very small amount because this part is usually convex area so uh, lumps may uh, be visible more than other area so the injecting amount per point should be a little bit low, lower depth and amount two things are 
the most important thing to consider. And if you see some depressed scar, then inject a little bit more amount using two to three points uh, for the needle entry point. But do not inject too superficially. When, um, lumps may last quite a long time. And if you see some forehead lines, deep forehead uh, folds, then uh, you should consider these folds as skin scars. So use the same method as injecting into the scars but she doesn't have any forehead lines, so I will inject only for the glabal area. Deep and small amounts, but multiple points. That's the key of injection technique. So, the same thing, uh, after finishing injection, and compress the skin surface to make even surface. And check if there's any uh, prominent nodules or lumps. And if you find, if you feel some uh, lumps, then just compress it. Okay, it's done. And the procedure is usually uh, repeated after six weeks, depending on uh, patient's skin thickness. If uh, lumps last quite a long time, more than two weeks, then uh, the interval should be more than six weeks and uh, inject a bit more uh, deeper area, deeper layer for the next session. And you should check the uh, patient's feedback very carefully to choose the next time uh, how to treat next time okay it's done